Well, I want to welcome everybody to today's live meditation webcast, honoring all mothers and the universal divine mother energy of life. I'm Astaria Venus, and today we are going to be honoring our birth mothers and this transcendent energy and feminine essence of life. We're gathering here to collectively honor this sacred energy, this feminine sacred energy that births all life, all life on the planet and all universal life as well. So we're gonna talk about this feminine energy and what this quality is of this feminine energy, this mother energy, and how important it is for us to not only understand it on deeper levels, but be able to live in this experience and embody this energy ourselves. The feminine energy is the energy of receptivity. It is receptive in nature. So take a moment to close your eyes right now. We are honoring all life on this planet. The mother energy honors all life. The mother energy gives to all life. And this mother energy births all life. We are here today to honor this divine energy of the mother, this feminine essence of life, to honor our own mothers, our birth mothers, and all mothers, and to honor the divine nature of Mother Mary. This universal energy of life, this divine feminine universal energy of life. And you can open your eyes again or keep them closed if you like. The feminine energy is magnetic. The masculine energy is electric. And it takes both of these polarities of energies for creation to occur. One is not more important than the other. Each of these energies are important for us to maintain balance within ourselves and on the planet. The divine feminine nature, which is receptive, opens us to receive. It opens us to receive our very own nature, our divine nature, our connection with the creator of life, the connection with this divine creator of life. Through receptivity, we're able to experience life. Life is an experience. It's an emotional experience. And we all know that feeling when we are in this emotional experience. And I know everyone knows that feeling of when you feel disconnected from that emotional experience of life, that emotional experience of harmony and that emotional experience of love. When, when we feel disconnected, it's an experience of being more connected and trapped in the mind and in analyzing and mental concepts. So the feminine energy 
connects us through receptivity, through being able to receive this inner connection with the pulse of life, with this greater energetic pulse of life. The masculine energy is the energy of action. It's the energy of expression. The feminine energy is magnetic. It opens to receive. And the masculine energy expresses what the feminine energy has received. So the two are united and go together. And this is very important for the rebalancing of the energy on the planet at this time. There has been an overabundance of the masculine energy in the way of actually just disregarding or being disconnected from that essence of receiving, being able to be receptive within our own nature and within our own heart energy. And so this is a time that we are in to really rebalance. And it begins with each and every one of us. We know that place where, you know, you feel that uh, stress and not feeling really connected to your inner knowing because that inner knowing is reached by surrendering into this feminine energy of receptivity. This feminine energy allows us to really connect with our true essence and to receive this guidance on a moment by moment level day by day, moment by moment. And so this feminine energy is an important aspect of the creation of life. So let's talk about that for a moment. The feminine energy is the energy that receives this energy of the seed, this seed of life into the womb, into this place, this sacred chamber, this womb where the female energy can receive the subtle energies and impulses of the spirit of this child. The mother energy in her feminine divine quality is receiving this essence of the spirit of the child and is connecting through the receptivity with this child. And through this connection, she nurtures this life energy. She nurtures this child till it's time for her to give birth. And when the mother gives birth to her child, now she is nurturing her child through this feminine energy. This feminine energy that through this receptivity is able to connect and through this connection is able to give this life giving energy of love through the receptivity and the connection, the feminine energy is able to give this life-giving energy of love. And so the importance of this life-giving energy of love and this divine energy of the mother, the feminine, and so today we are going to be honoring both our mothers who gave us life, who birthed us and who nurtured us in the best way that they knew how. Even if our mothers weren't perfect, <laughs> as I'm sure no mother is because perfection 
is a virtue of the divine feminine in its total acceptance and neutrality in its place of union and allowing the divine energy of source to flow through. So our mothers may have been imperfect in certain ways, but our mothers gave us life. Our mothers nurtured us. And it is important to honor this energy of life that they gave to us to honor our mothers and to honor the essence of this feminine quality of life, this feminine divine nature of life. So I wanna talk about also Divine Mother Mary. Divine Mother Mary, transcends all religions. Some people may think that Mother Mary is related to a particular religion, but actually Divine Mother Mary represents the universal mother energy of life. Meaning that it's not just about one child, like the, the birth mother, she is nurturing her own child or her own children. But the divine universal mother, Mother Mary, she nurtures all children. She nurtures all of humanity. Her comfort, her love, and even her protection she is available, this vibration of this energy, of the feminine, this love energy that is through this divine universal imprint of Mother Mary is available to all of humanity. The Beatles, <laughs> the Beatles had a song how many of you remember that song? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. That song is Let It Be, Let It Be. And in that song, it was just pointed out to me recently uh, by a dear friend of mine that in the beginning of that song, they are singing, let me get this now. I want to actually give it to you. I have it right here. <laughs> when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me speaking words of wisdom, let it be. So this energy of Mother Mary is available for us. And we're gonna be going into this meditation and connecting and opening to receive a deeper connection with this universal energy to receive this comforting, this essence of love, this essence of life. The divine feminine energy keeps the flow of life flowing with the divine masculine energy. So when the masculine energy and the feminine energy is in harmony, and balance, this is when creation occurs. And this is when there is a perpetuation of life. The feminine energy of receiving and the masculine energy of expressing. And so the perpetuation of life 
occurs through receiving and through being able to receive, which is the feminine energy, you're able to give. So the receiving and the giving are one fluid expression that perpetuates life. This is life-giving energy. And so we're honoring this life-giving energy of the mother. And we will also be honoring the life-giving energy in a special broadcast on Father's Day in the next series of trainings. And so today we're going to be focusing on this feminine aspect of this divine energy. And I have traveled all over the world, actually, to many sacred places on the planet. And my journey has been over many years of traveling to France, to Lourdes in France, to many places that are special to this divine feminine energy, places where this energy is honored. And so it is an important aspect of humanity's evolution right now to come back into this honoring of this essence of life. And so I was in France, I was in Greece, I was in um, sacred places in Spain and sacred places in Portugal. And all of these places, they have, <laughs> I have some comments coming in. All of these places have this special energy that is, that is, oh, what would I say? Accelerated, enhanced. This energy is enhanced when we come in to this place of honor. And so that's what we're doing here today. We're coming into this place of honor and we enhance this life-giving energy by our own recognition, by our understanding on a deeper level, by making a deeper connection and by honoring this energy. And so I wanna invite everybody into this meditation and let's see if there's something before we go in. Restoring divine harmony, restoring divine harmony. By honoring this energy of life, both the feminine and the masculine, we restore divine harmony. We restore divine harmony. So let's begin with today. We're gonna to be honoring the divine feminine. So go ahead and let's see, I'm gonna do a screen share and I'm gonna invite you to get yourself comfortable. If, if you are in a um, seated position, which most of you probably are, go ahead and sit with your spine in vertical alignment. That helps the energy to flow through our chakras, up through the central channel. So I'm going to just um, mute my video here and we're gonna begin the meditation. Begin by taking some nice deep breaths. Feeling your breath entering your body. And allowing yourself to become completely present in this moment. Settling in to your body. Settling in to your breath. Feeling 
and imagine that you're sitting somewhere outside in nature. Maybe it's a favorite place. Noticing your environment. Noticing all the sounds. And allow your body to just notice how comfortable it feels. Noticing this very loving, nourishing energy of the earth. Noticing the earth's energy as being vibrantly alive. feeling in your heart your gratitude and love for the earth and all the sacred elements of life. Give yourself permission to receive now whatever it is that you most need. That place inside of you that might need nurturing, that place inside of you that might need comfort, whatever serves your highest good, allow yourself to open to receive that, to receive that blessing. Becoming so still inside to receive and feel your own heart pulse.
this pulse that connected you when you were in the womb of your mother. Opening your heart to your mother. Opening your heart to your mother. Sensing and feeling this eternal connection with your mother. And as you continue to breathe, allow yourself to feel your love and your gratitude for all mothers. This mother energy. This mother energy 
that nourishes life.
allowing your body to be restored, allowing your body to be restored. There is only divine love. There is only divine peace. There is only divine harmony. Soaking and drinking in this divine peace. So as you slowly just come back, just allow this to just be the seed of vibration that takes you into this beautiful day as we honor the sacred mothers, all mothers. If your mother is still here on this dimension, cherishing our mother, enjoy the rest of the day if you get to spend time with her or at least spending time with her on the phone or on a Zoom call. So take these blessings with you. And I am again, so thankful for you joining in this meditation and look forward to the next one. And go ahead, if anybody has any chats or anything that you'd like to share before we close, you can type those into the chat. Mm, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, and happy, happy Mother's Day. I know many of you are mothers, so please receive all this nurturing for yourself. All right, so many blessings and much love to you all, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Oh, that was great. Thank you, thank you, Greg. Oh, thank you, Greg. Um, oh, my mom and grandmother came in to say hello. That's so beautiful, wonderful. Mm, thank you, Stacy. Uh, mm, Francine. Oh, beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Yay, thank you. So everybody. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the day. Much love and many blessings. And until the next time, we'll see you soon. Much love.